Hi everyone, it's Darla Kirchner. I am so excited to have my dear friend Lisa Stoops on here with me today. Lisa is a digital strategist and she is a she's an online, she does everything a lot of things online with like uh, sales funnels, but she is also an expert at Facebook ads and creating campaigns and she absolutely freaking loves it. And <laughs> which I I just go, "Okay, Lisa, yeah, she gets excited about this stuff." And I get excited about creating beautiful images and that and she gets excited about seeing them convert and getting them down to like a dollar fifty and I just go wow <laughs> Lisa you go girls <laughs> you, yeah, you summed it up right that's exactly right <laughs> and you're like oh I'm gonna pull my hair out if I have to do anything else <laughs> uh-huh I just can Lisa help me <laughs> yeah I know right so yeah for joining I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad that you were able to join us today so so tell us a little about yourself and what you do how about that well you 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 pretty much summed it up I am the online sales funnel ad funnel person I love uh, working with Facebook ads to help my clients grow their businesses whether it's adding you know new um, email subscribers and then uh, building that email funnel so they can convert those subscribers into buyers. So, um, but yeah, I manage Facebook ads for my clients as well. So I either coach or I manage, but for the most part, um, the management service is really taking off just because I think a lot of people are too busy, you know, and they don't want to deal with learning the ins and outs of Facebook ads and there's a lot to learn. So um, I've been managing my clients' Facebook ads and growing growing their audience, you know, from zero to whatever. So that's, that's a lot awesome. of mm -hmm. it, Yeah, because I actually, that's kind of how you and I started talking. I mean, we talk, we, we've known each other for a couple years now. And we've yeah. talked, we talk, we try to, we don't talk as much as we should. So there, <laughs> there's that. And we're only like a state away. Lisa's in, in Michigan and I'm in Ohio. So, so we're really close to each other, but, um, um, you know, time flies before you know it. And then I, I had a couple of my clients who have said to me, I need to understand Facebook ads. And I'm like, Oh, I am. I, and I'm always mishonest. I'm like, you know, I'm not your expert. I, I, so I can make your images. We can talk about a strategy for all that. But if you want an expert, then I'm going to send you to someone who I know is, and that's Lisa. So mm -hmm. that's why we had we started this conversation. And so I asked Lisa, I said, would you mind coming on and just sharing some tips and some strategies and some, you know, a little bit about, you know, what you're doing and, and what's going on in your world. And so Lisa said, she'd come on here with me. So, so I appreciate that <laughs> yeah this is fun this is it really is fun. i don't do this enough <laughs> i know we don't we don't that's why i love about um facebook about, about blab because blab you can do this and you can have people on here so so while we're talking if you guys have any questions for lisa um about facebook and facebook ads or you know one of the things that i wanted to ask you and this is i want from personal um, from personal experience of either for myself or some of my clients is, you know, um, what maybe, you know, what is the difference? Let's start with the basics. So what's the difference between a boosted post and a Facebook, a true Facebook ad? Well, a boosted post will be like, you know, you, you go and you set up a, um, an update to your, on your page, right? And and Facebook is always wanting you to boost that. They're like, hey, you, you're getting, you're getting some likes here. Let's, Let's uh, get some more, you know, basically let's, let me make some money. So they want you to boost it, you know, so you can get more reach. But what happens is people are like, oh, okay, cool. I'll boost it. And then um, it's not targeted. It's, it's just to your page or it could be even to your friends of your page. I mean, but now the button is kind of, it allows you to do some more targeting, like, but it's so, they only show you the screens that make it really easy for you to continue the ad. But, but, um, but what is the point of boosting your post to get more exposure for what though? And, and it really depends on strategy. And so I think, I think that it's really easy to boost the post, but, but I think a lot of people just do it to do it, but there's nothing behind that. You know, like, what are you doing? Okay. You're spending five, 10, 15, $20 on boosting this post, but what, What's the point? You know what? You know, and I think that a lot of times um, you'll do that, and then and then people don't know. I talk with a lot of people, and they they're like, okay, well, I don't really know what my my ad did for me, mm -hmm. and it's like, but you don't really even know your goals and your you know what are you trying to um, accomplish? And I think 
that's like one of the biggest things I work with people is the strategy behind their ads. There's no point in boosting a post if you don't have the strategy. Like maybe you want to get more, more likes. Um, but what is that? <laughs> you know, that's not going to, yes. that likes don't mean anything unless there's a strategy behind it. You know what I mean? Right. So. Yeah, and I have to agree. It's, that's the one thing that's why it's what I was telling my clients. It's like I can, I mean, I love strategy, and but I, of course I try to stay with you know my whole thing is branding, right? So I love branding, and that's what I help my clients do is from you know from the branding from the inside out, from the foundation, and then growing from there. And so, so, um, so, but I love strategy, and it's and there's a strategy behind everything, and and you have to have a strategy with Facebook ads. You have to have a strategy for social media. Yeah, or, you should, or you're just doing it for no reason. And so, right. yeah, yeah. So, and then you really can't measure too much. I think with the boosted post, I mean. What does that mean? You know, at the end of the day, right? right. So they don't give you any. There's no analytics or anything with a boosted post. Well, you can, but but it's it's just usually it's just a page post engagement type of ad. But there's like eleven different objectives within okay. Power Editor, and when you set up an ad, you need to really understand what your objective is, okay. and um, you know what are you trying to do with it. And I think a lot of people just just po boost it because they want more eyeballs on their post and more engagement on their post. And if it brings more people to, I don't know, your website or sign up, then yeah, it's, it's good. But overall, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a long-term strategy, you know, just right. to boost your post. You really right. have to get into, um, you know, what, what is your goal and set it up in the power editor where you have full control over right. testing different images and testing different audiences and, and things like that. Right, right. So, so, um, so, tell me, like, what, when you're using Power Editor, would you give us? Just, I know, I know, Power Editor is ex extremely robust. It's always changing. I know it's been updated. Haven't they updated again? Yeah, it mm -hmm. makes it more user friendly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They have. They've updated it where it's a little more organized. The toolbar comes down. You have everything. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to download and then upload, you know, you can just do your work and just upload. You don't have to, um, yeah, they, to me, it makes sense the way they have it laid out. It's just like filing cabinets here. It's just, ca it's just campaign, ad sets, ads. That's all. <laughs> and as long as you understand that, cause, but, cause it can be a little intimidating when you first get on there. And I know some of my clients and some of my colleagues have said, what's power editor? They don't mm -hmm. even know what it is. So what's intimidating yeah. if you don't, if you're not, I mean, how many years have you been doing this? You've been on. I think I've been doing Facebook ads since 2011 or 12. Okay. So there you go. So, yeah. So yeah. this, yeah, you could eat, sleep and breathe this. And, and so to you, it, you know, and that makes sense when you said it pulls out like a cabinet, you know, like a filing cabinet, that makes sense to me, but Facebook doesn't tell you that when you go on to Facebook, <laughs> when you go yeah. on to power editor. So it's like, ah, it's a little overwhelming at first. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So are there any like tips that you would say to get started, you know, for them, like for people to like, if they're just getting started with Power Editor, I'm posting some of the tips that you put in here. So have a strategy, know what your objectives for your ads are. Yeah. And it really depends. I mean, what is your goal? You know, what, what can you do? I mean, the biggest thing that I notice right now is trying to, is turning that um, cold traffic into warm traffic fast. Like you have to have a strategy to do that. I mean, you need to always be having new people become exposed to your brand. Um, but it's starting, it seems like right now, Facebook ads just seem kind of weird, funky. The last couple of weeks, a lot of um, costs are higher across the board, like for me and my clients. And I don't know. And I, I was reading somebody was post, posted a blog post about how around this time every year, it, it seems like there's always something weird going on with all the updating that they're doing with the, uh, they're doing a lot of different updates, but um, I've noticed like where, where costs are just rising right now. And it's so frustrating and I don't know, and it's not just me, you know, it's clients. It's, too, it's that, all the way around. Yeah. So, so. so what are, what's a typical cost? Like if you, what's a, if you were trying to budget, you know, you're thinking, okay, Facebook's, I, I, you know, I need to have a Facebook strategy. I'm ready to commit. I need to have a budget. So what would you budget? What's a realistic, good starting budget? Um, well, it depends on what you're selling for one. And then I have a spreadsheet that I use that 
that you just plug in your numbers. You have to know your numbers, but it depends on, and every business is different. Maybe they're just, right. and they don't have like their numbers, but um, it depends on what you're selling. And it depends on your, like your conversion rates to your, to your um, sales page. Right. And, and you can actually determine rough guess, like better than guessing, but you can approximate like how much traffic you need to okay. get how many sales and yes. how much that traffic will cost. Gotcha. And typically I um, notice that like a standard, like cost per lead is different than a cost, per, you know, click. So it's, right. it's different, right? So a standard cost per lead in the, in the markets that I'm in, which is like entrepreneurial markets are right. usually between three and five dollars. Okay. Okay. So, and then if you, that's for cold traffic, warm traffic tends to be lower, tends okay. to be lower. Okay. And um, if you get your targeting just right for cold traffic, it could, it could be lower than that, you know, lower right. than between right. three and five. Okay. However, um, then you're testing too. So on mm -hmm. top of that, you, you might be testing like 10 different audiences or five different audiences just to okay. see which ones are converting the most. So you might spend more right. a month till you, so you get the right, you know, mix of yeah. ad message and, and mm -hmm. audience. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, the budget could be $300 to start off per month. And mm -hmm. I think that would be the minimum, like to get a really good idea of what you could do. You know what I mean? So, okay. but so the, there's so much so that goes into that too. Right, right, but, right. So, so try to budget, uh, I'm trying to get for how much maybe, Maybe like you test two different audiences for like five dollars each, so ten dollars a day. So maybe three hundred dollars minimum, I would think, um, okay. a month to, okay. to test. And but that's so, minimum. And so, would you always suggest that they need to um, that we need to have two different ads running at the same time to see which one's working better? Yeah, I like to test um, between two different ads and two different images. So, I mean, two different audiences, two different targeting points. Um, okay. This is kind of like, especially when you're just starting out, you don't really have any data to um, right. compare. Right. So if you have two cold audiences, you want to mm -hmm. see, you know, is this, is this a good price or not? Like if one converts like higher than the other, um, you have something to compare it to. You definitely never want to compare your ads to someone else's ads or, anything like that, like whatever somebody else does, there's so many factors that go into somebody's ad campaign that there's, it's impossible to compare it to your own. You know what I mean? Right, you have right. so many different things going on. You got your right. offer, your landing page, your messaging, your targeting, yeah. your copy, you know, so. Yeah. yeah, and it's hard. Cause I mean, when I first started learning all this and it's like it's split testing, I'm like, what's that? And now yeah. I, I know what it is and I know how to do it. And it's, but you just really want to just change one thing and that can make all the difference. Right. So, you know, I know that I, you know, it's been a little while since I've done them, but I know I need to do them. And I also know this is the other thing I was going to ask you. And I don't know if you're going to be, um, if you're working with your clients about that, or I know that you're working on a course, if you're going to be talking about that, this in your course, but on the top of my, um, my fan page, it says, if you want to, if you want to run a, um, an Instagram ad, is, have you done any of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I separate my Instagram ads from my Facebook ads. So what I did with my um, husband's candle company was um, he had a really good ad in Facebook and I just turned it into a, a, a standalone like Instagram. All you're doing is targeting on that platform. So you can just kind of duplicate your ad from Facebook and okay. only target Instagram with it. And it, it, it does really good depending on what, you know, you're promoting or whatever. And being that it's such a visual place, mm -hmm. Instagram is, you know, the candles yeah. work really well on there because you could see and people are like right. liking it and, you know. Right. So then on Instagram, because I, I honestly am getting more Instagram. I get Instagram likes because I, I share more there. I yeah. share more personal. I'm I'm part yeah. personal, part um, um, uh, business you know, on Instagram. And, and, uh, so that's something that, that I'm, I'd like to maybe try and maybe test that out. So on Instagram, do you do that through power editor? Yeah. You yep. Yep. You set them up just like Facebook ads. It's just the, um, the platform is, um, where or the placement inside when you're setting it up, it's the placement. You just choose Instagram. You choose yeah. Instagram. So that, so that's, it's, it's not going to matter if it's an ad or a subset or a, a campaign. 
Well, you, yeah, you would just set up a campaign, um, depending on what your objective was, what, what you would want. I think it, I think you can do, I think you, I'm not sure if you can do all of the objectives with Instagram anymore. I mean, at one point you could only do one. I haven't done Instagram ads in a while. It's been a couple months, but mm -hmm. I think that you can do like a, um, website conversion campaign or a clicks to website campaign. Okay. Um, okay. And just the placement area is just Instagram. It's and just Instagram. That's cool. Cause I'll get things like that. Or I, I'm seeing a lot more now. I'm seeing a lot more on Instagram where it says sponsored posts and, yeah. and some of them they're getting really savvy. I mean the, 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 the it looks like it's just a regular post and I'll just click on like, Oh, that's sponsored. And then I unclick. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's bad. That's yeah. bad. So I'm like, oh, but I should have just done that. But I know I'm also doing this too, where I'll click on something where I don't know, I don't realize it's a sponsored post. And in my mind, as an end user, that's pretty savvy. That's strategy. There's good strategy there. So I try to keep that, take a picture of it. This is a tip for me. You know, take a picture of it so you can keep it. Yeah. So because if that enti if that enticed me to click on it or to go to that link, then then I know they've done a good job. So mm -hmm. that's something that I try to try to do. And I've gone over to I've, I've like clicked on to places, you know, from the post. So I know that, you know, I mean, I'm getting off sub subject here with um, between Instagram and, and Facebook, but they are connected. Mm -hmm. So can you use the same algorithms? I mean, can, do you have the same access to data on Instagram as you do on Facebook? Yep, you sure do. So it's kind of it's really cool to be able to use both inside yeah. a Facebook ad. So yeah. you you're um, if you have a really good, you should try. If you've been yeah. doing Instagram, you should just set up a, a campaign on Instagram to get people to wherever. I you're. think I will. <laughs> Yeah. So when it comes to Facebook ads and doing, um, cause I do, I've been doing a lot of research for, for, you know, for us, you know, for working on some stuff, at least and I are working on some stuff together and we'll talk about that here in a few minutes. But, um, um, and so in my research, I'm, I'm doing a lot of, trying to do a lot of things for my clients and the fact that I'm, I'm doing like visual imaging for them. And I'm also, I'm a lifetime learner and Lisa knows this cause she is one too. And so you know, always learning. We're always training. We're always taking courses and trying to educate ourselves. And I'm sure you guys are too. So, um, uh, so one of the courses I'm taking is, is, is a common, it's, it's really talking about copy. So I'm trying to understand good headlines, good subheads so yeah. that I can really you know, craft a great visual image. And so all of that's some things that I'm trying to, you know, trying to have ready and get for, ready for my clients to share with them for like different programs and, and bonuses and things like that. So um, have there been certain things that you have found that have worked better when it comes to Facebook ads, as far as like, whether it's an image or a copy, or I guess it depends to, I know it ultimately depends on what your strategy is and what you're trying to accomplish, right? Mm -hmm. Your objective. Yeah, I've had, um, I think that um, what's worked really well for me, and I, I teach this all the time, is having like a, a question okay. in your copy that speaks to a pain point of whatever it is you're trying to solve, like whatever you solve. Um, that works really well as far as copy goes. Like, and, um, and what was I going to say? Numbers. Numbers are really good too as far as copy goes. People um, like, uh, I wouldn't just have like a generic statement about a blueprint, you know, to download or something like that. I would say something like five steps to do something. Okay. You know, That's that, awesome. That always works really good. Yeah. Um, if it's like a freebie offer or something, free is always good. People respond yeah. to free. And yeah, free is um, always good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those are some of the, the biggest ones that I yeah. can. Do. Now, what do you think about this? Because I've been, you know, again, because, you know, because I know it's so important and, and I've got clients that that's what they're doing a lot. You know, they want to work on Facebook and, and, and Facebook's a big kahuna. So everybody understands Facebook. They just don't understand how to market on Facebook. So one of the two things I've noticed is um, I'm noticing a lot of video ads now, a lot of video ads. Yep. And I'm also, and I'm seeing some huge, I mean, shares and likes, and I'm like, wow, they're really reaching. Now, I have no idea what their budget is. I have no idea what, you know, I know one of them has 
a lot of people. And in fact, Patty, my friend Patty, who's on here, I've told, I've shared him with her. And you may have know know who he is, Lisa. His name is Jeremy Cowart. And he's a photographer and he is freaking amazing. <laughs> he is amazing. So he does. Um, so his I've seen him run some great um, ads and he just he just did one that was a video ad and it, it could have been at least a minute long. And it was talking about a course that he's opening up where you can go to the beach and train with him. Oh, uh, was really cool. And uh, so I could just, I just saw, you know, how much he looked like he was doing really quite well with that one. Um, and then the other thing I'm noticing is carousel ads. Yeah. Carousel. yeah. So that's something else. Um, have you noticed them? Are you using them? Are you oh, yeah. Them? Yeah. Yeah. It depends. Um, I use the carousel ads for um, um, candle business, but yeah. I didn't, I tested between the carousel ads and just a regular image and I didn't really notice too big of a difference. But with speaking of video ads, video ads are huge. Facebook is really uh, wanting you to use um, video. So they're at, uh, you can easily get 0 0.001 cost per view. So wow. You get a ton of views for like nothing. Wow. Wow. No. I know that they're doing that because I know that they're, I mean, they're doing their whole Facebook live. Right. In fact, right. that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about because I've been wanting to do more Facebook lives and I haven't had a time, chance to do it. And I, I tried really hard to do one before we hopped on here and I didn't have time, <laughs> but I noticed every time I do a video, I get so much more organic reach with video. Yeah. You do. And so mm -hmm. you can only imagine how much more your ad will go if it's a video ad. You just have to have some str strategy behind it. Right. And I'm going to tell you to keep it branded. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so there. Yeah. I'm really bad with that, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can talk and we can help each other because that's something that is important to do is, is make sure that you're branded. And, and you know, and in branding is a lot of, there's a lot about branding that, you know, you could be wearing something that's branded. You could be making sure that your copy is branded. You know, all of that is part of the branding. Your scenery could be part of your brand. I mean, that's all part of it. So, and that's all stuff you can use in your video. So there's a few tips there. So, um, yeah, so I think, so, you know, as far as, you know, Things that that I'm going to ask you some off off the topic things so that, you know, what, you know, you've pretty much, um, you know, your career has really pretty much been about digital strategy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I started off as a freelance writer. Oh, OK. That was my first business back in 2008 and and basically always been service provider of some sort and then um, turned into, and I had a big writing um, business where I had writers under me and we would just burn and churn out content, wow. but it, it was not something I wanted to continue doing. So yeah. Um, yeah. It wasn't part of your purpose. wasn't part of your passion. Yeah. So I, I've been on this long journey trying <laughs> to, to find, you know, the thing that really excites me and, and being able to help others too, you know, right. And I've right. got so many big plans for down the road that's not, you know, um, but I love the strategy. Strategy yeah. is, and I think that's the key to being successful is to have a rock solid, you know, business strategy and, and yes. more specifically an internet marketing one. One that, and that's why I love and I stick around the Facebook ads and funnels thing mm -hmm. because you can run your Facebook ads on autopilot checking in on it. If you have a really tight, you know, um, strategy behind those Facebook ads, you could be mm -hmm. earning um, money, you know, all the time without having to, you know, I like that freedom life yeah. sound. So I'm always yeah. trying to figure out how do I make this, you know, where I'm earning cash. For you. Yeah, I want it to work for me. I want the, you know, we got three kids, you know, tons of stuff going on, another business, you know, I want freedom yeah. as much as possible. And Facebook ads, being able to just run them mm -hmm. and you're getting signups all day long, yes. right? And you're getting yes. people into your funnel and people are learning about you and people are, you know, that's what I want to help my clients do as well. Absolutely. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, I think that's something that um, I think a lot more people are starting to understand that because when you and I first met a couple of years ago, I didn't think that a lot of people would like lifestyle entrepreneur. What do you mean by that? You know, you think of, you know, who's that guy, rich and famous, the rich and the famous, you know, <laughs> I, I think of, you know, you think of that kind of stuff and it's not necessarily, yeah. but I'm noticing now 
lot of my like my kids who are growing up and my um my cousins and my family my friends kids you know that are like i mean these are kids that are older like in their 20s and you know they're all that it's it's about having a life that they love it's about living their life and to the fullest and so that's what I think we're talking about. And I noticed for me, I, I just had um, a little health thing happen and I was down. I was down for a week and it was hard because and, and I thought if I I just need to keep, you know, getting all of this stuff going so it's evergreen. So I don't have yeah. to do that. And I know Facebook ads would really help you do that. Yes. You know, yes. Keep that going. You, But you have to have the strategy behind it. Right. Otherwise, you're just wasting money. You're just wasting money. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So so if anybody has any questions, please post them in here now. I'm, I'm going to keep um, Lisa from another like, you know, I'm going to keep her to like 530. Is that OK, Lisa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, so um, I know that you shared a couple other um, tips. So, if anybody has any tips or questions that you want to ask Lisa, now's your time because um, I'm trying to ask questions that I know I had and quest ask questions that I know that my clients have asked and stuff. So, so um, you know, please f feel free to ask questions for Lisa while we've got her on here. Um, so, Lisa, you know, are there any other tips that you would share with us as far as like strategy or um, you know, just simple things that you would you know, say, hey, this is something I get asked all the time. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that I uh, notice a lot is that um, people who are getting ready to um, set up their Facebook ads, I'll go and do a, like an assessment or something. or And I realize they do not have the Facebook pixel installed on their website. And that is so key. And I run into yeah. this a lot because I, I do... Um, have joint joint like partnerships with coaches who are who are doing like new mm -hmm. uh, who new business people coming into their thing and so they don't realize that they need their this Facebook pixel on their website so yeah um, that's a that, good one yeah. yeah yeah so so Patty's asking what's a Facebook pixel so I was yeah. gonna ask that that's a good question Patty. Yeah. <laughs> So the Facebook pixel is basically just a piece of code you put on your website that tracks the things that happen from your ad. So if you are sending traffic to your website, you have to have a way for Facebook to track it. So you'll be able to see how many people opted in to your freebie offer, how many people might have purchased something, how many people might have signed up for a webinar. All of that gets tracked with the Facebook pixel. Mm -hmm. And then on top of it, you want to retarget your um so you wouldn't be able to use retargeting or remarketing if you didn't have the pixel. You wouldn't be able to set up an, um, so Facebook really, what, what's really powerful about Facebook is that you can actually turn around and um, target people who have come to your website. So that's called retargeting. And you, you need the Facebook pixel uh, installed, you know, on your website to do that. Okay. So how do you get that? How do you get So the inside of your Facebook ads manager, you have, um, there's a toolbar, there's a place up at the top where you can pull down and it says um, pixel right there. And you click on the pixel button and it says view code. And it'll, it'll actually t walk you through, if you've never set it up before, it'll walk you through the steps to set it up. But basically you copy the code and you place it on your on the header of your website. So if you have a WordPress website, you can start all a, a plugin called header footer scripts and it's a plugin that that makes it super easy to get this installed correctly so header that, footers header footer it's like what? a header footer script you can type that into google and say wordpress and it'll pull up header footer script okay um, i'm gonna do that now and then um you copy the code, you paste it into the header section of that plugin, and it'll be on your site. Now, you have to also get a, uh, what you call it, a um, an add-on extension for Chrome called FB Pixel Helper. And that will sh actually help you um, to know if, if you go back to your homepage, refresh, and see that it is installed correctly. So that helps you know that it's installed correctly. But you also have to um, put the right, that's the code that goes across the whole website. But there's another piece of code that goes on your thank you pages that's a little bit different than that main code. You would have put a different code onto your thank you page or on your like success page after somebody bought something from you. That's a different 
guys are different. So that conversion code, those are conversion pixels. No, it's not. Um, there's no, it's not called conversion pixels anymore. It's all just the Facebook pixel. It just is oh. all one, one pixel that tracks everything. It's just okay. called standard events that you put into, you add like one line of code on the standard code and okay. you put it into the thank you page. But I also okay. have a blog post written on it. So some, anyone can go to lisasuits.com okay. and cert and look for the okay. pixel. Um, post. So I laid it out because I get okay. that, that question is something right. I get a lot. So, yeah. So I'm going to ask you if you wouldn't mind um, sending that to me, that okay. link to your blog post, because I know her last blog post, you were talking about Facebook. You were talking about something I do with ads too. So I was going to, I'm going to create this into a blog post and I okay. want to put those links in there too. Okay. So Jonathan made a good point. He said, make sure you, you have a backup before you do this. Yeah, right. Yeah. Anytime you add a plugin or anything. Yeah, so you want to back up your face, your um, WordPress, site? WordPress site. Yeah, yeah. So yes, and so so Jonathan, is there a plugin for that that you would that you would suggest? Because Jonathan's our he's our he's our resident um, WordPress expert. Oh, cool! <laughs> How awesome is that, right? Yeah. So, and I this is another question because I know Patty currently does not have a WordPress site. Shocking. <gasps> So she she has um is it Squarespace Patty I think so um will the conversion pix will the Facebook pixels work on them too yes yeah okay so so it, so it's it's universal over any any website pretty much yeah pretty much. okay mm -hmm. okay thank you pen exposed thank you thank your pen thank, exposed thank, thank your pen is exposed. <laughs> Patty, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Patty, what are you saying? Patty, what are you saying to us? I hope I'm not exposed. Um, so, so no, yeah, I don't know what she's saying. She'll come back, I'm sure. <laughs> so, I've, I've been, been exposed. I've been exposed. Yes, you have. <laughs> Where's the yes. too, though? But it'll on. work, honey. That's the point. The point yeah. is, is that the pixel will work on your, on your, um, uh, what's it called? What is she, she's doing? I forgot the name of the co the website she uses, but yes. Okay, so Jonathan says here is the post for my website with the load your back your backup link plugins. Thanks so much, Jonathan. Thanks so much for sharing yeah. that. I, I'll I'll add that. We got to talk too because I I got to talk more about WordPress because I love WordPress. I use WordPress all the time. Lisa, is yours WordPress? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, love it. So yeah, I, I know there's so much I don't know. <laughs> so there you go. Um, so any other, uh, well, gosh, we're almost close to 530. Good grief. So tell me, okay, so I know you're working on, on a bunch of other stuff. And you're always working, you work with clients, you work a lot, a lot with them one on one. And so now you, you so now you're working on a, um, a course to help people to get them started. So mm -hmm. you want to share a little bit about that and what you're doing and what's all going on with yeah, that? Well, this, this course that I'm launching right now is um, called Convert Live and it's a live group program that where I'm walking everybody step by step through the next six or seven weeks um, to get them uh, to, to put together their strategy and Facebook ads all together. So we're, we're just walking through the steps together. And um, yeah, so this is just going to just be a small group program mm -hmm. right now. And then um, maybe I will be able to relaunch it again in September. But this is going to be a, um intimate group of people who are looking to uh, grow their audience and use Facebook ads at, you know, learn, learn all the strategies I have about, you know, reducing the cost and, you um, what else? Uh, we're going to, they're just going to learn everything. I'm just going to brain dump it all and, and do live workshops. And they're also going to um, have, you know, access forever and, and several bonuses. One of your, them are yours. I can't wait to announce that. Bonus. Yes. Yes. So I'm trying to pull up her link. This is my page. It has her link on it. For some reason, it's not working. So but I'll get it, Lisa, because I've got mine on here. So I am. Yes. Yeah, so that's where Lisa and I started talking about stuff. Um, if you go on to that that link there, you'll get to Lisa's page um, because I, I have actually got the blab set in there and mm -hmm. I've got um, the bonus. I started the bonus. So so Lisa and I started talking about this and she said she was working on this. I said, well, we need to let other people know about it because I know I've got clients and I myself need to know it better because it's always changing just like everything else. 
Facebook's always updating and changing and improving things. And so they're making things a lot easier. And if you are seriously thinking about doing some digital marketing, Facebook is something you should seriously think about. It is the big kahuna. And so, and I can tell you from my own experience that Lisa is phenomenal. And so she will walk you through it. She's very patient and uh, she's very, she's very much um, practical strategy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So that's always good. And so, and it's very reasonable. It's a very reasonable program. I mean, I know people that are wonderful what they do and are wonderful Facebook experts at ad people, but they, they charge a lot too. So, so it's a great opportunity if it's something that you're seriously thinking about doing. So, so I asked Lisa, I said, how can I help you? And she said, Hey, we'll put together a bonus. And so I created the bonus for her. That is, um, it's a guide, if you will. So it's going to have the top ways to, for you you to create visuals. So it's a visual template. So there's going to give you a couple of different templates, like six different templates of things that you should do. We're going to talk about um, the do's and don'ts to put into a Facebook ad. Um, I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, laying it out for you so you can see it uh, in, a, in a format. So it's literally a guide to help you. And then at the end, once you've gone through that and you've gone to that port with the course with Lisa, then you can set up some time to consult with me and, and then tell me what you've got. Tell me what you're working on. And then I will then help you create the, the image that will help you so that you can get those conversions. And so, yeah, and it's a it's one hundred forty seven dollar um, value. So I'm excited about it. I yeah. love collaborating with, with uh, awesome ladies like Lisa and uh, you know awesome entrepreneurs so so yeah so that's what we're working on and so I'm excited to be a part of it <laughs> that's awesome yeah I'm really excited too I can't wait to announce this bonus because everybody know it's like a it's like one of those surprise surprise bonuses so <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I've got, yeah. So she's been patiently waiting on me. I just created some of the images for it, Lisa, and I put it onto that page um, over on my website and, um, and I'll be sharing all that stuff with you, you know, like, you know, later today or tomorrow morning. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's, um, but uh, it's a great collaboration because it, it really does take what Lisa's talking about and applying it. And, and because the first thing people are going to see is your ad, they're going to see the ad. They're going to see the, they're going to see the image. I, I like to think of the image as like the thing that like grabs your attention. Yeah. And then the copy is like what pulls you in, you know, to continue yeah. to read and click over. But the, the image is the thing that really, yeah. You know, if you're scrolling in your news feed, you're going to pay attention to the image, you know. Exactly. And that's or, the thing that stops people. And so yeah. then, you, then there's strategy by that, too. And that's some stuff I'll talk. That'll be in the guide as well, talking about some of the strategy behind using these different templates. So, like, you know, video is obviously going to be a different strategy than doing an image based. Right. Design. So you have to keep that in mind. And and again, it's testing it testing it to see what works for you. And, and all that comes, you know, Lisa's going to be talking about all that in her course too. So, yeah. And so, and so when are you starting that? That's coming up pretty soon, isn't it? Yeah. The doors close on the 19th and we're getting started like a couple days later. It's we, I'm, I'm uh, waiting for the door. Well, not waiting till the doors close, but probably by the end of the week, sending out like a survey to the people to right. find out like what day and time we're going to meet, you know, cause it's going to be really, you know, intimate and I want it to be, um, at a convenient time for everybody. Yeah. So. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's always even you can make it very intimate. You could have you know four people. That's pretty intimate, but you can you can get a lot of a lot of um, energy from that. But you could have four different people from four different places in the world. So that yeah. makes it more challenging. So trying to find the right time, right on the right. time zone. <laughs> I know it is, it's challenging, <laughs> especially when you're doing a live workshop like this. So yeah, it's a live workshop every single week and there'll be like a Facebook group um, okay. where they can ask questions and then I'll oh, have okay. all of the recorded, you know, workshops in there so they can always access them. But yeah. I kind of want to just walk through setting up the campaigns with them because I already, you know, I, uh, my like one-on-ones, it's like you, mm -hmm. you have to show people exactly how to do it. So they get it because right. it can be really confusing when you're not used to it. Like me, like you said earlier, you know, I'm used to seeing it. So it's like, boo, 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 you know, but right. people are like, whoa, whoa, what's this? What's that? What's what's that? <laughs> yeah. When you're not used to it, you're just starting out. It's a little, it's, it's very intimidating. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the thing though. I mean, you can get some really awesome results with Facebook ads. So mm -hmm. 
you know, it's something. I know that- we've seen it. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. I've yeah. had, I've had really, I've had good results with Facebook ads, and I've had some that have just been crap. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I just turn them off because it's like I am not spending fifteen dollars yeah. for a conversion. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So you know, so that's crazy. But then you, you, so you just have to be diligent and track it and really manage it well. But we both know people who have made a lot they've made serious income off of Facebook ads. they've made their whole career off of Facebook ads yep I mean it. hundreds of thousands of dollars on Facebook ads really the only way people find me these days is through Facebook ads because I have a little you know question like uh-huh. you know and it's like Facebook ads you know yeah so it's so it's so it's it's something to really seriously consider. It's something you should you know really think about, especially when you're thinking about digital marketing. And um, so thank you so much, Lisa. You're for- welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad you got to get me on here. And, and so I know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you uh, I'm gonna send you a couple other questions I want to add to the blog. Okay. And, but one of the things, and I don't need if you don't have the answer to this, and don't worry because I know that you said you were really busy, so I don't even know if you had time to even go through some of the questions that I sent to you. But one of my favorite things to ask um, people that I interview is if they have a favorite quote that I like to share. Because you know me, I'm a quote girl. So if you don't have it, don't worry. Just tell me later, and that'll be our that'll be the secret for people to come over to the blog, and they'll get more. Yeah, stuff. you know, it's like one of those things where you have so many, you don't like, even know. Yeah, yeah, where do you start with one? <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> Yeah. So I've got a couple other questions that we'll put into the blog too, and I'll, and I'll ask you that when you know when you've got time to think and not be so stressed and you've got to hop off and work with another client. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. So thank you everybody for joining us. Really appreciate yeah, it. You. If you've got any questions for Lisa um, about her course, um, you can, co- you can connect with her here. You can connect with her on Twitter um, mm-hmm. and you can connect with me on Twitter too and on Blab and on Facebook and all that other stuff too. So thanks so much for joining. Thanks, Jonathan. We're going to have to hook yeah, up thanks. Jonathan and well, I mean hook up, but <laughs> <laughs> talk about yeah you know, we have to talk about um wordpress and stuff and so appreciate you guys all joining us here and have a great day and make sure you check out uh you know lisa's um course and you can find us all over here and you guys all have an awesome day and happy um facebook ad hunting and and going i know it's good it's all good it's all good all good thanks darla for having me all right bye guys thanks for joining bye, us. bye.